Despite the relevance of STEM-related fields in reducing the skill gap, increasing employment opportunities for women, and reducing occupational segregation, ultimately spurring inclusive growth and shared prosperity, women are still underrepresented across them. Gender-based stereotypes are determinants of the underrepresentation of women in STEM professions, and scientific research is a field in which gender-based stereotypes are particularly present. At the same time, trust in science and scientists, irrespective of gender, is essential to highly differentiated societies where knowledge is highly specialized and complexity is constantly growing. This paper studies gender-based stereotypes in trust in scientists and the role played by culture. It does so resorting on a survey experiment conducted on two different samples. A representative sample of the adult Swiss population and a selection of students from elementary and secondary schools in Freiburg's bilingual French and German city. The policy implications of this work are several. Trust in science and scientists is essential, especially when individuals lack the knowledge to make decisions and evaluate the risks associated with the hazard, such as during public health crises, when the outcomes of the recommended behavioral measures for disease control are not immediately visible. Indeed, trust in science was a crucial determinant of compliance with public health restrictions during the COVID-19 pandemic in Italy. If trust in science is affected by gender stereotypes, its potential can also lead to harmful consequences regarding public health policies and behaviors. And this is all the more the case if such biases are already present at young ages as stereotypes tend to capitalize over the life course, typically worsening in late adolescence, thus affecting the whole broader range of gender-related outcomes such as female labor force participation, housework, and caregiving responsibility. If that were the case, our results would suggest that implementing educational interventions in elementary schools may constitute the right approach to break these vicious circles, leading to important gains for women and societies.